we after a year or so we looked at it and said okay why don't you go for double crop so we gave them the pattern how to do it so they made double crop it became 6 to 12 now because 6 tons per first crop second to 6 tons second crop 12 tons that year we saw many people even going for Hajj in the north because they had not only really had enough money they had even money to go to to travel go out to go, yeah. Yeah. Mm. so uh, is the primarily once the farmers were supporting them training them give them support with the right type of seeds and uh, help the consumption will go tremendously mm. Nigeria will become food self-sufficient and we can export because we have to export in the whole world enough arable land and water is available only in sub-saharan africa and Brazil, nowhere else so this has to become the breadbasket of the world so we have to grow the consumption what's, what's the value chain like for this it's enormous <laughs> you can here. easily quantify it and even the seeds as i said we also in katsina we took up a, a area and we developed our own indigenous seeds you know i told you we brought from brazil and we just set up a research station for a seed which will be used for the climate of Nigeria, to the pests of Nigeria. We got 10 and a half tons yield, even against the six tons of Brazil. So if you do it and then commercialize it, it will be much more attractive for the farmers. They need support.